please. Electric potential, please. Definition I said, electrical potential at a point is defined as the work done in moving a test charge from infinity to that point. That's how you define electrical potential. And I said, um, it is represented by V and mathematically expressed as V equal to KQ all over I. And mathematically expressed as KQ all over R. KQ all over R. The SI unit is volts. The SI unit is volts. So see the, see the similarity between force and electric field and electric potential. Okay? KQ over R. So I have this. Full stop. Example. 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 What is the electric potential? Example. What is the electric, electric potential? Example. What is the electric potential at a point? What is the electric potential at a point C? Uh, hold on, C is for, for column. So let's leave out C. At a point M, better still. What is the electric potential at a point M, comma, 15 meters from a charge? At a point M, 15 meters from a charge, from a charge 0 0.34, 0 0.34 coulomb, uh, 0 0.34 coulomb, right, 0 0.34 coulomb, all right, let's get this done, please, as they said, a point M, we have Q, that's 0 0.34 coulomb, distance of separation, please, how many again, sorry, 15 meters, all right, so I have 15 meters distance. We have to find electrical potential. We know that V, recall that V is equal to KQ all over R. And that's equal to K is a constant, 9 times 10 to the power 9, that's K. Into Q, Q is 0 0.34 coulomb, so there's no conversion, all over R. Distance is 15, so I'm having 15. Please punch this and Give me your value. 204 times 10 to the power 6 units. Units. Volts. That's V. We said 10 to the power 6 has a value of mega. So it becomes 204 mega volts. So if you look at this, electric potential and electrical field, they are very similar. The distance is that, or the difference is that I'm not squaring distance. That's all. That's different. So there's no big deal there. I'm not squaring distance. That's all. All right. Next up, please. Let's look at electric potential energy. Science is last year. Your physics was um, define electric field, define electric potential, and electric potential energy. What is the difference between them? That was your exam question last year. So let's look at it, please. Electrical potential energy, this man is you, or perhaps you if you want to. Look at electrical potential energy. Electrical. Electrostatic potential energy, uh, whichever one. So you call it electric potential energy or electrostatic potential energy, please. By electric or electrostatic potential energy, um, they are used interchangeably. So I said it's U E. All right, take down. This is. This is the energy 
a charge has. This is the energy a charge has. The energy a charge has by virtue of its position. The energy a charge has by virtue of its position in an electrostatic field. The energy that a charge has by virtue of its position in an electrostatic field. For example, it's called electric potential energy or electrostatic potential energy. Mathematically, it is given by U equal to K Q1 Q2 all over R. Mathematically, it is given by K Q1 Q2 all over R. KQ1, Q2, all over R. So see this difference very well. From Coulomb's law, force F is equal to KQ1, Q2 over R squared. That's the first one we did. Number two, we now looked at, this is the first one. Number two, we now looked at electrical field. We said electrical field intensity or strength is E is equal to what there? KQ over R squared. This was the second one we did. We now did electrical potential. Number three, we said electrical potential V is equal to what there? KQ all over what there? R. This is the third one. And then number four, we looked at electrical or electrostatic potential energy. That's U being equal to what there? KQ1, Q2 over R. Call this your fourth. So see how similar they are. But notice the slight difference. A simple R not being squared or Q not available, but they're very similar as you can see. Very, very similar. For this, what will be your unit? Huh? Whenever you hear the word energy, it can't be more than joules. Whether it's energy in anywhere, thermal energy, it's always in joules, majorly, basically. So, energy is in joules. That's what you have. Okay. Uh, let me chip in something again. One last, let me chip in something, please. Note that. Note this. Note this, please. Let me just chip in this one. Uh, not like you readily need the ball. Let me just show you. Note that the electrical field and electrical field intensity. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Note that the electrical field, which is simple as electrical field intensity and electric potential. Note that the electrical field and electrical field potential are related by E is equal to V all over, so we'll say R, so we'll say D. Let me say R. So electric field is equal to electric potential all over distance of separation or distance. If I walk, walk with this one here, electric potential is in uh, what there? Volts that's my SI unit. All over this task is in meter. That becomes what there? Volt per meter. And remember that earlier, I took that E is also in volt per meter. This is how we get it, please. Electrical field is equal to electric potential all over distance of separation. So if your question warrants that you use this formula, then why not? Go ahead. Uh, okay. Two charges, example. Example, please. Two charges, example, please. Two charges, Q1, two charges, Q1, equal to 5.0 microcoulomb, and Q2 equal to 4.3 microcoulomb. Two charges, the first one there, and the second one, are separated by distance, are separated by distance of 
150 millimeters are separated by distance of 150 millimeters. 150 millimeters. Oh, you know what? Let's use something. Is it okay? Okay. 150 millimeters. Full stop. If a third charge, if a third charge Q3, if a third charge Q3 equal to, if a third charge Q3 equal to 2.7 microcoulomb, if a third charge Q3 is equal to 2.7 microcoulomb is placed midway if a third charge 2.7 microcoulomb is placed midway between Q1 and Q2. If a third charge Q3 equals 2.7 microcoulomb is placed midway between Q1 and Q2, find the electrostatic potential on Q3 find the electrostatic potential on Q3 due to the other charges due to the other charges find the please find the electrostatic potential energy please energy please Find the electrostatic potential energy on Q3 due to the other charges. All right. Done. Solution, please. I'm given Q1. Um, recall value for me, please. Q1, how many? Five microcoulomb. Okay. Um, Q two. How many? Four point three microcoulomb. Distance of separation from here to here. Um, hang on. I'm expecting a half distance. So let me keep this space for the half distance. From here to here was one fifty millimeters. That was from here to this point. We said a third charge Q3 was placed midway. Midway will be the center of these two. Somewhere here, I have a Q3. Q3, what's the value again, please? 2.7. Okay. Excuse me, let me do it this way. So Q3 is equal to 2.7 microcoulomb. If it's placed midway, question, what is the distance from here to here? Huh? 150 by 2. That's 75 millimeters. Here and here, 75 millimeters. All right. So we have to find the electrostatic potential energy on Q3. What will it be? Um, simple. Take down, please. Take down, please. The electrostatic potential energy on Q3. Have you sketched this? Okay, no, I'm waiting for you, please. Fast. The electrostatic potential energy on Q3 is equal to, or will be equal to, will be equal to the electrostatic potential on Q3 due to charge Q1 plus plus the electrostatic potential energy on Q3 due to charge Q2. I said the net electrostatic potential energy on Q3 will be equal to the energy on Q3 due to charge Q1 plus that on Q3 due to charge Q2. So I'm saying this. Um, 
and the starting potential energy is u so u is equal to d1 on charge 1 and 3 that's 1 3 plus d1 based on 3 and 2 perhaps 2 3 so i have this all right this is like this because i'm doing what's it called i'm doing the scalar form if it was vector form, you are doing u 3 1 not 1 3 they're not the same thing but don't worry this is scalar so let's work with this so that's u 3 1 and then u 3 2 what's u 3 1 or u 1 3 u 1 3 is equal to my formula is what there k q 1 q 3 all the word there r let's say 1 3 r 1 3 means distance between what there charge 1 and charge 3 that's all for this one you don't square distance that's all no big deal so that means u that means u13 is equal to k 9 times 10 to the power 9 into q1 q1 5 micro 5 times to the power 6 into q3 q3 2.7 2.7 times to the power there minus 6 all over r um r13 what's the value for r13 Please convert to meters. What do you have? Divide by 1000. Because what there? Eh? 0 0.075. 0 0.075 in meters. That's distance here. Yeah? It becomes 0 0.075. So I have this. Please, what's the value of U13? Punch correctly, please. What do you have? What's you want three? 1.62 times anything. 1.62. Units, please. Joules. Let's get U1, U23 now. So U23 is equal to what there? K, Q2, Q3, all over what there? R23. And that's equal to K. 9 times 10 to the power 9 into Q2, this 4.3 micro 10 to the power minus 6 into Q3, 2.7 micro 2.7 times 10 to the power minus 6 all over R23, distance between Q2 and Q3, 75 millimeters. Convert to meters, divide by 1000, 0 0.075. Please punch this. What's u23? So u23 is equal to one point that's three nine approximately times anything there that becomes joules. So therefore, the electrostatic potential energy on charge q on charge um, q3. That's, so let's let people let's call it U3 perhaps. Let's call it U3. That's um as the static potential energy on three will be equal. So it's equal to U1 plus U2. And that's equal to U1 is uh so U13 and U23, please. U13 is this one here, 1.62 plus U23, 1.39. If I sum this, what do I get there? Three. 3.01 units joules. All right, so I have this, please. So that's your answer, please. Any questions, please?